Well, greetings and warm welcome back to a new video, guys. If you do enjoy them, do take time to give them a thumbs up. Perhaps give them a share on your social media. And if you've got any comments or critique, drop a comment below. Let me know how your fishing's going as well. I'm also more easily reachable on my Instagram account. Link to that in the description box below. So what are we doing this evening? We are fishing a swim that I did well in on my last trip. I have come back to try the swim again. I have also earmarked some other spots. I do want to try also the swim that I had that third barbel in. So revisiting a few spots. Might try a new spot as well though. It's hard not to say no. The river level has risen slightly. There's a bit of colour. Which is always welcome in these very dry times. So, tackle. Advanta Angling Direct RVS Ambush Rod. Seven foot, one and three quarter pound test curve. Set up with a running leisure setup with a low resistance run ring. Drennan Gravel Braid Hook Link. Size seven ESP Cryogen Gripper. Mainline Shimano Technium. Shimano 2500 FLDA. It's FLDA bait runner. Just fishing with hardened hook baits. My same 50-50 yeasty meaty mix that you've seen on my other videos. And going to be feeding by hand if I can. I've got the bait dropper though, but feeding by hand if I can. Flow is up, but it's not too bad. Nice bit of bird seed. And a little bit of bird seed mixed with ground bait. I'm going to put a little bit of boily paste in the swim as well. I'm going to be just fishing a very hardened 19mm um, nice rock hard anti crayfish boily of my um, meaty yeasty 50 50 mix that I make up and wrapping that in paste so it does end up around about 22 to 23mm bait. A gob stopper, a crayfish stopper, and it worked well on my last trip. Anyway, I do want to get set up so I'm going to prattle on. That's my form of attack and my way I'm going to be attacking the um, swim behind me. And um, yeah, fingers crossed we get amongst a um, barbel or two or some chub. Would be nicer. But saying that, you know, given my last trip with free barbel, I don't mind whatever happens. It's just nice to be out on the bank. And confidence is really buoyed and high at the moment after having those free fish on my last trip. Anyway, not going to waffle on. Going to get the rod ready. Going to get the bait put in and see if we can snag ourselves a fish. Right, so just going to apply a few little nuggets of paste. Nice and soft. Extra nice quick leak off of food source. Now it's just a case of waiting and seeing if anyone's in a feeding mood and anyone's coming up the actual nice weed run here. Anyway, got to keep an eye on the rod so I'm going to shut up and watch the rod tip. Have a banana.
Oh. Ring, guys. Oh, under there you went. Not much of a scrap got on film there, but that was a out of nowhere bite. That's a really hit an older. It's a nice fish. As I say, not much on film there, me playing her. She tore off under there. I literally, well, tried to tear off. I'm fishing locked up. But yeah. Whew. That was hairy. I weren't messing about. I'm fishing locked up. So I bullied her right out from this snag on my right hand side. Once again, apologies for not having the camera rolling. But I don't get always get that kind of time with fishing on these rivers. I don't always want the camera rolling and running out of battery while I'm waiting for a, you know, a decent bite. But that was straight out of nowhere. Oh, that's a nice fish. Happy days. My apologies for not getting all of the hit and hold scrap, but it was a short hit and hold affair anyway. Got quite a bit of it on film. Ten pound, eight ounces. I'll take that very happy. These um, last couple of trips have been amazing. And um, yeah, long may this form continue. Nice to get another one, another double. That's um, it's seven barbel now. Very nice too. It's in lovely condition. As I say, real hit and hold scrap with that snag down to my right hand side. But yeah, just pull myself back. Happy days, eh? Happy days. Who wouldn't be happy with that? What a cook. Well guys, I was going to stay and fish another spot, but I've just looked at the um, AccuWeather radar and it's showing what we want, lots of rain, or a very heavy pulse at least of rain, um, showing like it's going to hit the Berkshire area within the next hour, well 45 minutes to an hour. So I haven't got any waterproof top with me, I haven't got any umbrella, so um, yeah I am going to gonna um, call it a day I reckon or call it an evening it's been great though absolutely wonderful and um, yeah if I had an umbrella with me I should have brought an umbrella I was thinking to myself at home strap the umbrella to the crossbar of the bike you know you might need it there was a warning for thunderstorms but it didn't materialize like they said as always when they say it doesn't materialize and all of a sudden now I can see flashes of lightning at the back so um, yeah probably best to err on the side of caution and head off but it's been wonderful hasn't it you know Nice to have a um, run of barbel and uh, lovely fish, £10.8. Beautiful condition, hard fighting. As I say, apologies for not getting the full scrap on video there. That was real hit and hold. First things first, make sure the fish and the rod don't exit the swim and then try to hit the record button. As I say, I don't like to leave my recording, uh, my camera recording um, as it does run the battery down and run the external battery pack as well down. You're never sure how much you're going to need of it. But yeah, what a fabulous looking fish. And once again on the 50-50 uh, yeasty meaty mix that I make up. But I'm making rock hard baits at the moment. I mean, guys, once they're boiled and they're out the water for just an hour, you could bounce them off of your worktop. <laughs> so within 24 hours, they are rock hard. But believe me, a lot of people are put off by that because of leak off. And d does the actual bait leak off as much? Of course it doesn't leak off as much as a nice softly boiled and skim skinned only for a few minutes. Um, a, a softer bait mix as well. You know, fish in general, we've only got to look at f certain species of fish, they pick up the minutest of um, scent trowel of food. So even if it's a rock hard bait, I'd much rather have a rock hard bait on there leaking off some scent trowel and being a bit protected from crayfish than having a bait that gets taken off. And you, you, you've dropped into a swim, you try to be quiet as you can, not necessarily going to move the rod straight away. And then you wind it in only to find you've been crayed, you've lost all your bait, you've been sat there fishing with thin air which no one likes it's a horrible feeling you feel like the time you've invested has come to nothing you've been literally as I say fishing with thin air but yeah just wrapping that in matching pace obviously the pace acts as a faster leak off because it's active it's live it's not boiled and um, 
a little bit of bird seed. Always like my bird seed, guys. You know me by now. I love my bird seed. So much so, I might one day turn into a pigeon and fly off. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to crack on and get the rest of my gear packed up. Hope you've enjoyed this little video. It's been great to bring you another one, albeit short and sweet. And wherever you're fishing, wherever you're dangling your line, hope you're getting a fair and decent pull of it, a good tug and a fish or two. I will see you on the flip side on another Fishing for Memories vlog. Take care and goodbye.